Hi guys, this is Movement, and today I am I have a very special guest on my show today, my mom. And we will be discussing her why she is weirdly obsessed with Bradley Cooper and his best and worst movies. So, hi. So, why do you like Bradley Cooper? Because he's a really good actor. Any other reasons? <laughs> And he's a little good looking too. A little good looking? Okay. <laughs> now, on to the main topic. Um, what? I'm going to list a few movies. Uh, okay. What are your. Uh, tell me which films you like of uh, Bradley Cooper and which you dislike, and I will say mine after. Uh, American Sniper. Awesome. What did you like about it? He did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask those um. Next. Why don't you see what you think of him? Joy. He was pretty good. Uh, the movie American Hustle, where he plays. Yeah, he was okay. All right. Uh, the Place Beyond the Pines. Do you remember that movie? No. No. Okay. Silver Linings Playbook, which also he was earned, really good. That also earned a May Oscar nomination. Um, Limitless, where he goes toe to toe with uh, Robert De Niro, and he takes a drug that access um a hundred percent of his brain, and he can do whatever. Um, I think he was good. <laughs> um, Can't the, remember that Valentine's one. Day. Good. The movie The Hangover. He did good in all, all one, two, three. The movie Failure to Launch. That's Matthew McConaughey. No, that is Matthew McConaughey. He is the lead, yes, with uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. But he plays a supporting role in the movie. Bradley Cooper? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey and Bradley Cooper <laughs> in one movie, yeah. I didn't know that. You have to be watched that movie now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say because I don't remember him being in it. Wedding Crashers. He played the... He was good. Okay. Now, since I named a few of his films, what are your top five best and worst Bradley Cooper movies? My top five? Yeah. If, or top three. Top, top three. Top three favorite. Uh, American Sniper. Okay. Is that your first? Is that your third? No. That's the first. First? Okay. Um... Mm, uh, uh, probably the Hangovers. Hangover movies, okay. One, two, and three. And, oh, the silver, silver, uh, silver, whatever it's called. Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah, that'd be, two. that'd be two. No, that'd be two. That'd be two. Okay. And your final one. You said three, so three Hangovers. One, two, three. No, but that's just one franchise. That's just one. So. Oh, but you said to pick three. That's my. Oh, okay. Third one. Okay. <laughs> uh, my top three. Uh, Bradley Cooper movies. Number one would be American Sniper. Number two would be The Place Beyond the Pines. And number three would probably be American Hustle because it just, um, despite the movie's confusing um, plot, it was surrounded with very grounded and solid performances and Bradley Cooper was a uh, sure standout in the film. Um, his three worst films that you did not particularly like? Well, apparently... Um Failure to launch, because I don't remember him being in it. <laughs> uh, what about... Uh, what's the other one? That were the there 70s was, one? Uh, there was... American Hustle? American Hustle. Yeah, I wasn't doing that. What about Hit and Run? Don't even remember. There's a reason why. <laughs> um, the A-Team. Mm, mm. It was okay. <laughs> yeah, he sure... Not a great movie. What made, what made up for that entire film was he was shirtless. That's what made people see the film. Um, <laughs> really? Anyways... What what do you think was his high highest rated film on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, Silver Linings Playbook. What do you think was his um, lowest film? The one you just said a minute ago. His highest rated movie is Silver Linings Playbook with a ninety two, and American Hustle with ninety three percent. Hmm. American Sniper, which he chose, got seventy two percent. Um, The Hangover. Uh, well, let's see, the first one. Uh, give me a minute, I have to try to find this. Okay. The Hangover got 79%. Uh, Hangover Part 2 got a 34. Yeah. And Hangover Part 3 got 19. Um, and his, what are your thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy and his performance in that movie? That's with Rocket Raccoon. His performance, not the movie. Of what? His performance as Rocket the Raccoon. I didn't like that movie. 
so I can't say it was. I I just didn't like the movie. Uh, like there have been rumors speculating that he could be in talks to be the new Indiana Jones. What do you think about him taking over the title from Harrison Ford? Do you think he would be a good choice? There's been him. Chris Pratt is also being considered because Harrison is uh, getting a little too old. I think Harrison Ford should do it. Um, sorry about that. That was a phone. <laughs> um, and also, what are your thoughts on the Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper collaboration? They have worked now on Civil Linings Playbook together, American Hustle, Serena, Joy, and um, I think that's all of them. Can you please repeat the question? So they have worked on multiple films together. I uh, I think if I'm my numbers are correct, they've worked on four projects. Do you think they should continue to work together? Yes, I think they're or great do you together. think that they're getting kind of dull and repetitive? No, I think they're great together. Uh, fini finishing my final question. Uh, is there any movies do you think Bradley Cooper should do? Does, should he do any musicals? Is there any remakes should, or films he should do? He, just, he, should, he should just do more movies. More movies? Um, okay. So... Um, also, uh, the film, oh, sorry, sorry, I know that's said last question, but this is my last one. He's been nominated for three Oscars for Best Lead Actor for Silver Linings, uh, American Sniper, and Supporting for American Hustle. Do you think he was deserved to win one of those, or he should have just been nominated? And he, sh and do you think that, this is, this is still the same question, do you think that <laughs> he had... He has the potential to bring a better performance. That's why he hasn't won one yet. Can you please repeat, <laughs> no. you please repeat the question? Because it no. was very confusing. From the following nominees that he was in, America, uh, American Hustle, uh, Civil Lines Playbook, and American Sniper, the three films he was nominated yes. for. Do you think he should have won for one of those? American Sniper. You think he should have won for that yes. one? Yes, yes. And not... I think he did a really great job. That was all, but you have to remember, that was the same year Eddie Van won for The Theory of Everything. Oh, that's tough. When you play was, Stephen Hawking. Yeah, that's really tough. Cause um, maybe you can't do that to me then because the other one was really good too. He deserved that uh, Oscar. I thought personally they should have had a tie because in 1967 mm. they, they had a tie with, um, mm. with uh, what's her name? She was in the guilt ship. Um, Barbara Streisand and another actress. And they had a two-way tie because there was um, an even vote. And they can still do that. Um, yeah, it's kind of different though, American Sniper and... Because they were both good performances, so how can you differ mm. one over the other? So make a tie. Mm. Okay. So, that, those are, um, that's our discussion today on uh, Bradley Cooper. And uh, thank you for being on today's episode. And uh, don't forget... Thank you, it was an honor to be here. <laughs> don't forget to, um, again, uh, comment in the comment section. What's your favorite Bradley Cooper movie? Um, what roles do you think he would be good in? Um, what's his, what do you think is his worst film? The, is it The Hangover or is it Yes Man? Uh, don't forget to subscribe below. Until I see you guys again, this is Movie Man, signing off.